Clara Dalkany uh, moved to Paris in 1997 to start Buddhist activities here because Banti told her that he would like there to be a Buddhist center in Paris. <laughs> The French group of the FWBO has been meeting for four years and has held events in Paris three times since 1995. Faradakini plans to move there permanently in September to establish the first FWBO centre in France. I went to see Bante about two years ago and I asked him, Bante, how can I uh, participate in what you've created? How can I help the movement? And he said, well, it's obvious. Um, you are French and the Dharma is not in France. He also added, and I would very much like to see the Dharma in France before I die. It seemed obvious to me for quite a while actually that we needed a different space. In the old centre the shrine room also served as a corridor between the entrance and the toilets and the kitchen. Even though it had a very strong atmosphere after all the years of practice, it stopped us having that sense of entering a different realm when we entered the Shrine Room. And that's what I've really tried to create here, where people really felt that it was a dedicated spiritual space. We've been working right up to the last minute. The building work uh, went on and on and on. So the last few days have been just frantically putting things into place. One of the special things about the opening uh, was the presence of people from Holland and Germany and Belgium uh, as well as from the UK and actually that's what we do in Europe, we go around from, uh, to different events from one thing to the next, um, we support each other and there's a very very strong network of connection between us. So internationality is something that we live and do and that network is very important to us all. <laughs> I didn't expect that there would be loads and loads of people who would make the journey here, but I knew that there would be many, many people all over the world thinking of us and wanting to wish us well. So I had this idea of inviting people to write us postcards and send them or bring them, um, and that we would make a little hole in the shrine that we could post the postcards into. So the shrine will always carry the blessings and good wishes of our brothers and sisters in the Sangha around the world. Paris Buddhist Centre, any Buddhist centre, <laughs> is much more than a building. So what is it? What is a Buddhist centre? <laughs> to build the centre together, it's really a teamwork. It's not only a question of a, a four other members, but a Sangha. Thank you, because <laughs> we received so many support. Uh, a lot of people was interested by the idea of a new uh, centre in Paris. It's really um, a team, teamwork, international teamwork. Without the international Turatna, it was not possible to have this building. So thank you. Thank you very much. Pour le bonheur de tous les êtres. Pour le bonheur de tous les êtres. Pour le bénéfice de tous les êtres. Pour le bénéfice de tous les êtres. Avec corps, parole, esprit. Avec corps, parole et esprit. Nous dédions ce lieu. Nous dédions ce lieu. I hope that what we've created is, is a very beautiful, welcoming, spacious place. A gate to the three jewels, it's exactly what we, we want to, to be here, a gate for everybody is interested by Buddhism to grow in this life. Where we can really start to create a, a home for the Paris Sangha where people will feel 
happy to come and be here and people will feel welcomed and they'll enjoy coming here. We want to build this uh, Sangha, to build this, to, to have a, a live in this building together with a lot of, lot of Sangha. Avec une générosité sans réserve, je purifie mon corps. Je purifie mon corps. Avec calme. Avec calme. Simplicité. Simplicité. Et contentement. Et contentement. Je purifie mon corps. Je purifie mon corps.